Hello, this is Jack Jackson. We're going to talk about someone I think is one of the greatest mathematicians of all time, certainly, is Emmy Noether. You can see a picture of her there. Her first name was Amelie. She went by her middle name, Emmy. Um, <clears throat> she was born in 1882 and died in 1935. She was German. Uh, I think uh, she would be widely recognized as the greatest female mathematician in history and one of the top mathematicians of all time. She was Jewish. Her grandfather was actually forced to change his name from Samuel and so to Noether and Noether and so that was uh, name was passed down. Uh, her father Max Noether was a mathematician and he were, did work in algebraic geometry. Uh, she had at least two brothers who were uh, scientists, mathematicians. Alfred was a chemist and Fritz was an applied mathematician. In uh, 1900, I guess that was about the age of 18 or so, to 1902, she studied mathematics at the University of Erlangen. And But to do that, she had to get permission from each professor because females were not allowed to enroll as regular students. She was only one of two females at the entire university at that time. 1903 to 1904 she moved to the University of Göttingen. There she studied with some of the greatest mathematicians of the day, Hilbert, Klein, Minkowski, and others. Again, not being allowed to be an official student but getting permission from these gentlemen to uh, attend their lectures. In 1904 the rules had changed and she was finally admitted as official student back in Erlangen. And finally in 1907 she was allowed to earn her doctorate uh, under uh, Gordon was her uh, adv uh, dissertation advisor. So the next academic step for someone getting a doctorate in Germany at that time was to pass a habilitation exam which allowed one to become a university professor. But guess what? That was denied to women, so she was not able to take a university position. She stayed at her login then for a little while and worked with her father, who was who was uh, had a position there, and helping him with his research, but then also worked on her own research. In 1950, she was invited by Hilbert and Klein uh, back to Göttingen, and Hilbert, well, at this why? Well, because Hilbert was working on the theory of relativity, similar to the work, uh, uh, famous work by Albert Einstein that was being developed around the same time, and he needed an expert, and Noether was the best one out there for the type of mathematics he was doing. So Hilbert needed her help, and he got her on the uh, to come to Göttingen. But uh, again, she was not officially allowed to teach classes. Uh, but she did do teaching there. The way they worked that out, Hilbert would list a class with him being uh, the teacher of record, and it would say, well, assisted by Dr. Emmy Noether, and actually she would be the one that actually was teaching the class. In 1919, uh, she finally was able to become an official university faculty member. In 1924, Vander Vorden, uh, wrote a very influential book on modern algebra, collecting a lot of the algebra, abstract algebra techniques up to that day. And it was heavily influenced by spending a year studying with Noether. In fact, the uh, second part of that book is pretty much uh, mostly uh, Noether's work. So there are sort of three periods we can look into her, her research from 1809 to 1919. She studied algebraic invariance, number fields, differential invariance, basis, uh, which some of this became the basis of much of the work in theory of relativity. Uh, it was definitely applied to uh, mathematical physics. In 1920 to 1926, she did extremely important work in abstract algebra particularly in ring theory, and uh, we could definitely call her the mother of ring theory uh, because of the foundational work that she did uh, in ring theory at that time. 
From 1927 to 1935, she continued to work in abstract algebra and non-commutative algebras, hyper-complex numbers, representation theory of groups, modules, and ideals. <clears throat> in 1933, uh, the Nazi Germanys had come to power and were getting rid of all uh, Jews and some, some, I mean, literally getting rid of them, killing a lot of them, and then intellectuals and people with uh, positions they were taking over their um, their businesses, uh, which happened to her family, who had had a business for over for about a hundred years, and then uh, she was kicked out of out of the uh, German education, uh, but she was offered a position as a professor at Bryn Mawr College in the United States. So she moved in 1933 to the United States and lived the rest of her life there. In addition to teaching at Bryn Mawr. She taught at the Institute for Advanced Study at Princeton. Somewhere along in there, she collaborated with Einstein. And so, uh, you know, she did the mathematics that made Einstein's theory of relativity work. She died from surgical computations in 1935. So very quick, very uh, unexpectedly. Many mathematicians are known because of their uh, their accomplishments and research, some of them were good at having some good students. Uh, others were were uh, not not good at teaching at all. Uh, in spite of having a couple of really outstanding students, for example, Gauss uh, did not like to teach. He enjoyed his his position uh, as a as the head of an observatory because he really didn't have to teach classes. But uh, Emmy. Uh, was an exceptional teacher, and she uh, she had many students who were very very exceptional, many doctoral students, many graduate students, uh, and she was really known for her excellence in the classroom, and also as being a collaborator. In addition to the many important papers that she published on her own, many of her ideas she let her students or other mathematicians develop and publish them. So many of her core ideas, she would talk to them about another mathematician, and they would take that and publish their own papers about with it, which didn't necessarily have her name over it on them. Uh, but nevertheless, she was the one that came up with lots of the ideas. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I would rank Emmy Noether right up with one of the best mathematicians of all times. Uh, extremely important in uh, in the abstract algebra field.